a local copy on your frame store. And there are advantages to work either way. One, if I know material is, is not going to be accessible to me later on, I may want to permanently keep it on my frame store so that I can you know, always have it in my project and work with it. Uh, most of our video here, like I said, is on P2 files. So we can just simply select these clips, bring them up, put them in our project, and they'll make background proxies. And even as they're doing that, I can select all of these clips and bring them onto my into my source area. All right. So if I just select them all, I can hit load to disk, and they will now show up in my source area as clips for me to work with. Now, I can't play these in real time because they're still coming off the USB disk, which isn't fast enough. But if you'll notice over here, you have an option to pick full res or proxies. So if I choose proxies, which even the proxies still look pretty good in this case, and even if I show you this in full screen, full res or proxies, the proxies are still pretty good. I mean, they're very good for editorial work at draft quality, and this is the lowest quality that I can get on Smoke. Uh, they're also the fastest to generate, which is why I choose them that way. Okay. So if I just hit play, I can play this clip now in real time. And I'm Andrea Moorhead. Our top story today at 5 o'clock here on Eyewitness News. So that gives me the benefit of using proxies in a project where I've got lots of material that I don't want to save on my frame store. And as long as I'm in proxy mode, I can play these clips. If you look down here at the in the bottom, you can look at the time code. And if you open up the timeline, you can see that the path of the clip is always uh, embedded with it so that you know where it comes from in case uh, it would go offline. So if, if this drive were to become unplugged, which I'll show you like this. Okay, so I've unplugged the drive now, and you can see I get checkerboards when I look at the full res version. But if I switch over to proxies, I still get the video and can continue to working even though this drive isn't plugged in. I won't get the audio, obviously, because the audio was also coming from the USB drive and there was no proxy version of audio. But that shows you how that works. But Smoke knows what the path is for this material. And as long as I plug this drive back in and don't mess up, mess this file path up, then Smoke will automatically reconnect to the media with no problem. So if I pop this back to full res, I'll plug the drive back in, and we're good to go. So now if I want to do some editorial work with these clips, then I can just create a new timeline. We'll work with some of the clips like this. Look at their timeline. And we'll just cut a few things together. So even though I'm pulling this video off a USB drive, I can still get full-time playback. Thanks for joining playback. us tonight. I'm Scott Swan, and I'm Anne Marie Tiernan. From tonight the proxy on version. News at 5:30. We look up story today at 5 o'clock here on Eyewitness News. So now I can go through and do some of my finishing work, and as soon as I drop, you know, a color correction, soft effect on these, maybe do some sort of minor color correction to them all. And once I render these, they will be rendered onto my frame store, and the full res versions will play back in real time. Scott Swan. And I'm Anne Marie Tiernan. Tonight on Eyewitness News at 5.30, we look up story today at 5 o'clock. So it's easy to do your editorial with proxy versions, and then once you start doing your finishing with color correction or effects, Things become rendered on your frame store, but instead of storing an hour's worth of media 
at full res, I only have to deal with what's being rendered, which in this case may be 30 seconds to a minute worth of final video. So I hope this explanation of gateway importing media into Smoke and using the store local copy option will help you as you're exploring Smoke on a Mac.